So for today, we're going to be looking at the Witcher set for the Titans. If you guys don't know, we already have the Hunter video. It's right here. You guys can check it out. But we also already reviewed and made the Shader video as well, which you guys can check those out. For the Hunter video, we essentially went through all of the pieces for the Hunter set for the Witcher set and made individual sets with it, which is what we're going to be doing for the Titan video. For the review video, I just go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And then for the shader video, I go through all of the shaders that I currently own. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. Generally, I don't like to ask people for liking, comments, subbing, and all that in the beginning of the video. But I definitely think it's worth it considering the amount of content that my channel pushes out compared to other fashion content creators. Not trying to throw shade. It's just I put push a lot of content out. So I would very much appreciate a like, comment, subscription. Uh, hit the bell notification to keep up with my content because again i push out a lot of content so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all let's just get into it so to start off we're going to be using the helmet and this is the same situation for the hunt from the hunters i think the helmet for the titans is fucking trash don't get me wrong i understand why we have the scar it's supposed to be Geralt of rivia he has the scar i get it i'm not saying it's bad it's just I guess it's the design of the helmet that I'm not a big fan of. I go into more depth with the review video, which you guys can check out. But me personally, I just don't like the helmet. That being said, I still wanted to at least make a set with it, which I actually think this doesn't look that bad. With this one, we're using the Care Morin helmet and the Care Morin mark with the Ursa's Meridimus ornament for the Ursa Furiosas. For the chest piece, Meridian Constellation plate, and then Godsbane Greaves. So let me explain my thought process here. It literally is just fur and viking that's really it um the boots is obviously the viking the myriad and constellation with the ursa ursa's meritimus ornament is obviously because of the fur and then the helmet and the mark is lit. honestly it just for me i was really, I, I was just like i want to just make something that looks cool i don't care about a theme i just want something that looks cool and i definitely think this looks cool and i would definitely make this a set that i have in the back pocket that being said i have so many of these Ursa Meridimus aren't like looks that this one would probably be the lowest on the totem pole, but I would still have it there nonetheless. And then for the shader, this is probably going to be the best shader you can combine with the Ursa's Meridimus set because it has all the colors that the the uh, pauldrons have. It has the white and it has that slight purple, which if you don't have the Amrita's Dream, I'm you could probably just use another like white shader, but this one's going to be the best one for it. As for the next set, this one is going to be utilizing the arms, which I actually think the arms are pretty decent. I will say I would probably switch out the chest piece for something else. Maybe, maybe the, Dev the Devastation Complex, I think it's called. The one with the fur, I think that one would probably be a little bit better. But for this one, we're going to be using the Iron Companion Helm, the the uh, Care Morin Gauntlets, the Silimar's Iron Plate with the Finala's Iron Mark. Those two are actually from the same set. And then for the boots, we're going to be using the Mark 44 standicides. I think they're called. As for the shader, it's going to be Iron Mossbone just because I like the white and gold. And honestly, that's pretty much it. I have nothing to really talk about this one because I've, I think I use this one in another set or I've used it already. Either way, I actually really do like this one quite a bit. As for the next set, this is literally just going to be more Viking thing because we're using the Wolf Kissed Helm with the Wolf Kissed Greaves. And the Care Morin Plate has leather, which gives that feeling of Viking for the mark iron foreigner mark is what i decided i really like this mark i just hate the bells on the side because it looks terrible and then for the gauntlets we're going to be using doomfang pauldrons with the lordly homage ornament on it and then for the shader canis coat because i wanted some browns in there because that's i feel like that's the best way to really represent that so i definitely think this is probably the best one so far we do have one more which i don't even remember how it looks but I do think I also go for a Viking thing, which let's just get into it. For this one, we're going to be using the Adamantium Rebirth ornament for the Lorelei Splendor. And I definitely think this is the best one just because the boots really make it look that much better. So Wolf Kiss Gauntlets with the Wolf Kiss Plates. I, the Wolf Kiss Gauntlets with the Wolf Kiss Plate. Both combining those because I want that fur in there. Then the Care Morin Greaves because of that leather. I really, really like that. And then for the sh the and then for the Mark Thunder's Impact Mark is what we're using. Overall, I definitely think this one is super dope. Just like I think the helmet's the only thing that I'm like it could have been better. I maybe switch the shader out for a green or something because this is a lot of leather, not a lot of plate. The only plate that I noticed is on the chest piece, and then on the knee pads, and then on the actual like foot. 
other than that there's not a lot of plate armor in this so i probably would just switch out the iron to steel shader on the helmet for just a regular green one i think that would have been better overall i think this is really cool just be aware that the adamantum rebirth uh has that red glow that doesn't change color which is unfortunate but let me know what you guys think i really enjoyed making these sets i to be to be fair i do think like the first one's not the best work that i've done but after that i think the third one's super cool i think the second one's super cool as well and i think the fourth one is just like by far the best one so let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later